that's a big question. We have these multi-ton blocks. How the hell were they moved 500 miles from Aswan Quarry, you know, all the way to Giza Plateau, right? You know that Earth, it's a planet that has an electric field, meaning the surface of the planet we stand on is negatively charged and the ionosphere is positively charged. What we underappreciate is that we can put this electric field to good work. And in fact, there are species of spiders that can sense the electric field, but when it's at, at the strongest, they can sense it and then, then they deploy the piece of spider web that is uh, negatively charged. Negative charges repulse each other. So the charge of the ground, which is negative, pushes on the charge that the spider deploys, which is also negative, and then mm. the spider floats. So if you produce these isotopes and let's say you put them on a craft, mm -hmm. you know, the craft would float in uh, Earth's you know, gravity just because the static charge on the craft is pushing against the static charge of the Earth and you get this, you know, repulsion of Coulomb charges and mm. the craft would levitate. And then it becomes possible, you know, to, to apply this isotope, let's say, to a stone you wish to transport. And all of a, a sudden, you know, the stone would lose its weight. But, you know, a huge giant stone block would require a substantial charge and you can develop that charge by, you know, coating, you know, let's say, the block with this, you know, nuclear isotope that's right. producing beta particles. So you could, but how would you move it? I mean, you just push on it. It's, so you could hover it and just push it. Right, basically. 